So how do you kind of like sort those out when you're scoping MarTech vendors? What are like the few questions that you say, I ask all MarTech vendors this to kind of weed out and make sure that they are a good fit for my needs? So that's a good question. And then just to kind of, you know, um, put a put a point on what we were just talking about, it all ties back to the thinking for yourself type thing. You, you would be so surprised. Um, and, you know, I, I talk to um, really smart marketing ops people, really smart MarTech people all the time. And you'll be surprised to say, to hear things like, well, we don't do lead scoring or we don't have a CRM. You know, I ran into that the other day. Someone did some, uh, you know, one of the, one of the biggest brands, um, that you would recognize immediately is that, oh no, we, we don't have a CRM. We do it differently. Um, and it just kind of shows you, it makes you question like, wait, where did this sort of idea come from that we need all of these things to get our job done. And, and you're telling me that, and this can, that this can be applied. It's kind of a rabbit hole. This can be applied like in so many different fields. Um, you know, like, like one of the things that I always think about is, um, like, like, like Google, for example, and like, uh, uh, other, other of the large tech players actually didn't invest in social media marketing till well after, you know, the peak of it you know, well after the time when everyone was saying, you need to be having a social media strategy or your business is left in the dust. And you've got some of the world's best brands that just do it their way and in, in their own time. So, so tying kind of back to your question, Carissa, I think you need to define your needs first and then that will start to guide you. Like, like, like almost like the product management thing that we were thinking about, you know, what are the set of product requirements that you need to do? Like, I want my users to, you know, when they get to a landing page, I want it to be perfectly customized to them. I want them to fill out one form and their data will be enriched. You know, I want that information to be passed to the right salesperson in almost real time. It's like, there's nothing to do with the tech. It's all of to do of, of what you want the customer to experience. This will then give you a short list already of like, you know, what, what solutions are available to you that can support that. And then oftentimes, um, you know, you probably have to mix it with your own engineering. Um, but that's how I would start. Start with the customer experience first. 